I am making a salsa fresca, which basically means like fresh salsa, which is delicious any time of year. This is easy. It is superior to any of the jarred salsas you're ever gonna come up with. You can chop your vegetables as fine as you want or as chunky as you want, depending on how you're gonna serve it. Um, I like mine a little on the chunkier side. The vegetables break down a little bit after it's all combined because of the lime juice. Right now I'm chopping some cilantro, which is a very popular herb in Mexican Spanish cooking. So I just have some, not super fine, tend to get a little lazy with the chopping, but it's gonna go in my big bowl. I have some things already chopped. I'm um, gonna add one more tomato. I have about four large tomatoes. Um, you don't have to peel them, and I don't even bother to seed them. This salsa could be put on top of tacos. Um, I'm gonna probably just have it with chips as a chip and dip type of thing. Um, and it keeps for quite a while in the refrigerator, and I personally think it gets better with age. Um, the longer you have it, it, just the flavors meld and blend, and it just, to me, gets more yummy. Um, you could just serve this with flour tortillas, like a cheese quesadilla, and put some of this on top. So really, you're only limited by your own imagination. So this is my last tomato. And it's all going in my big, big bowl. It smells really good, especially when you've got the garden fresh tomatoes or heirloom tomatoes. These are from Lee's Garden, they were delicious. And then I have, I'm adding two jalapeno peppers. This is the second one. Um, this you do wanna seed and you wanna be careful not to touch your eyes after you've seeded this because your eyes will burn for a while. So just be careful with your hands. You do want to get the seeds out. I mean, you don't have to get every single one, but they are very spicy and they don't really add much to the dish. So, and be careful when you're pulling the seeds out that it doesn't squirt in your eye because it will sting. So this I'll chop a little finer than the tomatoes because you don't want a big, huge piece of this. This is pretty spicy stuff. So if you don't like it spicy, leave it out. Or you could use a milder pepper, uh, maybe a green pepper, red pepper would be pretty, something a lot more mild. This one isn't the hottest one going, but it's got some kick, so. It's also making my eyes water just by chopping it up. Okay, so I have my tomatoes, my cilantro, jalapenos, and onion. I put one half of a red onion sliced thin, so what I'm gonna add is a little pepper ground pepper, and I'm gonna put in garlic. This is to taste, have about that much garlic. It's probably about two, three teaspoons. You could put in more, you could put in less. I mean, this is a recipe idea. This is not like baking. You can leave it and take out what you don't like. Okay, some salt. And then I'm going to add some lime juice. I've already squeezed one lime. And give it a little roll before you squeeze it or pop it in the microwave for a second. You'll get more juice out of it. These ones seem pretty juicy. Last one. And then you're just gonna blend this together. Stir it. It's gonna be really good, really fresh. And I'm gonna Stir this around first before I just add that all in. Just to, see, that's a lot of lime juice right there. And the tomatoes are already letting a lot of their juice out. Go add, I'm not gonna add all this. This is, you know, you just have to eyeball some of these things or taste it. You know, if you want more, add more if you don't want. So that's it, salsa fresca. This can go on any of your Mexican dishes. I'm gonna put some of my cute little comals I hope I have that right. These are very cute little serving dishes. Put some in here. There's the green one. Just waiting for some chips. And this will get better as it sits. And there's the yellow one. Enjoy your salsa fresca.